Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. The makeup playing continues today. There has been so many exciting new makeup launches that have been coming out over the last few weeks. I feel like I always start a new makeup video with that, but it's true, specifically like lots of new cream glowing products, cream bronzing products, bronzing in general. <laughs> a lot of seasonal appropriate launches have been coming out and I love summer, I love glow, I love bronze, and I am trying my best to make my way through all of these new launches in a way that is digestible for you all. And I also just wanted to say that when you actually see this video, it begins our two week transition time from our move to when we'll hopefully be set up in the new place. So today when I'm filming this, we have three more days to film in our studio before it's all packed up and shipped off to BC. So you guys can expect to see a lot more makeup content coming up. We've been trying to film as much as we can, getting through all these new exciting launches and being able to film them in the studio while it's still set up. We have no idea how long the movers are gonna take in their driving journey across Canada. It's a big land. It's a lot of land to cover there. So we're trying to utilize the studio well while she's still here. So lots of makeup coming up in the next two weeks and then hopefully we'll be able to film in the new place. So we're very excited. Guys, new makeup today. I'm going to be playing with some new launches from Iconic London, from Tarte, from Refi Beauty, which I'm super excited about, and also some very new exciting lipstick shade launches from Lee Swatier. And this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Lee Swatier. I love them so much. I have worked with and I have worn Lee Swatier makeup for years since the start of my YouTube channel. I would argue that it was actually the beginning of my love for juicy lips, anything juicy lip, like the shades Michelle and Jennifer ruled my life in the beginning of my YouTube channel. And before I ever started on YouTube, like it was just my first dive into bold, juicy lips. And it's been a favorite formula of mine ever since. So I'm going to show you the new shades in the Rouge Intense Supreme Lipstick lineup. There's five new shades, I have four here. And thanks so much to Lise Watier for sending their new shades. I'm very excited to show you. And without further ado, my friends, let us dive into the makeup. I've already done my brows. We're gonna start with the base. Now, Iconic London is a brand that I had been dying to try for such a long time. I feel like everybody on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, was raving about their illuminators, which I do have. I am testing out a different highlighter today though, so please forgive me. But I'm so happy I received a big box from Iconic London and actually it included a new product from them. And this is the Radiance Booster. I love this packaging. It's very squishy. I love that. It's so satisfying to hold beautiful gold packaging. And I was really excited to get my hands on the new launch from Iconic London. So thank you, Iconic London. I've got two shades here, Champagne Glow and Honey Glow. This is meant to be an all over base to boost radiance in the skin. So you can apply it alone before makeup. You can mix it in with your foundation. It's kind of one of those multi-use, just generally glowing products. But this one to me seems like it has a little bit more of a tint. I'm pumping out some of this champagne glow. I'm gonna start with that. I think honey glow might be a little bit too deep for me. This is very juicy, juicy, juicy feeling. Let's apply it onto the skin and use it as a primer and boosting the glow. Now, because it's got like color to it, this is one of those products where when I'm in my <laughs> when I'm in my summer skin prime, uh, usually my skin is just very happy in the summertime. And kind of like the super goop sunscreen, because it has the tint to it, I will happily just wear that. I'm wearing it in place of a foundation. I don't feel like I need a whole lot of coverage because my skin has a little bit of a sun-kissed tan going on. And maybe if I want some extra coverage, I'll just go on top of it with some concealer after. But Having products like these that have the slightest little tint, but then it's just giving such a wash of hydrated, lovely glow to the skin, like this with concealer is an ideal summer base to me. And there's been a lot of products that I've been using lately that have been allowing me to achieve that with my skin. But so far, like this is just, like it's literally making my skin look wet. <laughs> Gorgeous, what a glow, oh my God. So for foundation, even though I do strongly feel like We've got such a lovely glowing base that we could just go in with concealer and be fine. But I really wanted to test out the new Tarte foundation. I did mention this in a previous vlog that I had this on hand and I was itching to give it a try. This is the new Tarte C Hydroflex Serum Foundation. I did a whole video, a full face of Tarte, talking about my feelings towards Tarte and how I feel like they just weren't really tickling my fancy over the last couple of years. But this entire C range, there's been a few products that I've really, really loved from it. I've loved what I've been seeing them come out with. They had some beautiful new lip balms. They had the gorgeous just cream bronzers like I'm I'm liking what they're doing with this C line so I was very intrigued and wanted to test out 
the C foundation. Love the packaging so much. This lovely little easy to squeeze tube. Love the color. And it says to shake well and apply by any means necessary. It says fingers, brush, or sponge. So let's start with our fingers. Yeah, that feels nice. It's one of those like serum-y liquidy foundations. You feel it. There's a little bit of a grittiness to it. And this is supposed to have a natural finish and medium coverage. So I'm just going to press that into my skin when my skin is nice and prepped like this like we're very we're very hydrated it just makes it a lot easier to blend products in with your fingers and i love easy slap on products like this in the summertime you almost feel the pigment in it it's got a little bit of a gritty texture it's not like a total smooth serum -y cream feeling sorry i always get so itchy there's just this grip to it it almost feels like there's powder in the product. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm just gonna put some onto my sponge here just to take it down the neck a little bit. You know what? There's been so many tint-like products that I've been trying recently, and I'd actually, especially like this, this late in the game, <laughs> if products come out and they're bad, I would find that more shocking than them being good, you know? I've been hard pressed to come across a product that hasn't really delivered in the last little while, especially when it comes to these tinted products. Like this looks beautiful and it's very similar to a lot of the skin tints that I try. Oh my God, speaking of that, wow. It's very much the same feeling as the Fenty Ease Drop. Just like it's thin, it's liquidy, but it's got this little grittiness to it. That's a good comparison actually. I wonder, I wonder. Just maybe a little bit of a, of a lighter coverage feeling, which I prefer, especially when I'm having like an, a happy skin day. Looks amazing, I've got no complaints, guys. What do you think about the new Hydroflex Serum Foundation? I would also just call this a skin tint. I wouldn't even call it a foundation. Those are my feelings. Looks great, looks beautiful. Applied on top of this Radiance Booster. A lovely little combo for summer. Another one, another one. Okay, because I was using the new foundation, I wanted to pick up, oh my God, the Tarte Shape Tape. The Tarte Shape Tape concealer has been such a popular product for so long. It was such a huge launch from them. They really pooped the little bed when they came out with the uh, Shape Tape foundation, which I have to say again, they really stepped it up with the shade range in this Hydroflex foundation. Beautiful shade range, top notch, they done good. Anyway, this was a favorite for a very long time. And then it was an Ulta exclusive, but you could always buy it on the Tarte website. You could always get this in Canada. The Tarte website does ship to Canada. However, they did recently, I guess, stop the exclusivity with Ulta and it is available at Sephora. So I thought I would pick it up again and give it a little revisit. I don't want too much concealer here but let's just get a little extra flawless base. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the Shape Tape Concealer is at Sephora, so that's exciting. I got the shade Light Neutral, 22N. So I'm just gonna take my little beauty blender and blend that in. I used to just love this. Oh my God, this and the Too Faced Concealer. I was such a fan and kind of excited to be revisiting it and giving it a little play. It's blending out beautifully under the eyes. This base looks lovely, absolutely lovely. What do you guys think of this combo? Let's move on to the rest of the cream products. Oh my God, Refai Beauty. If you guys remember Refai Beauty, it is by the beautiful, I don't even know, I guess you would just call her a blogger. I'm obsessed with her. I've been following her on Instagram for a long time. She's gorgeous. She is otherworldly. Like she's so beautiful. It's hard to it's hard to handle. Over this last year, she launched her brand Refi Beauty. I've previously used her brow products. They're amazing. The brow gel is incredible. And she recently expanded and did a whole face lineup. And they also announced that they are now also being sold at Sephora, which is exciting. So I picked up the whole, the whole thing. Well, like a couple of shades of each thing, but I picked up the cream bronzer, all very, very simple packaging. This is like a nice deep gray and all it has on the back is the shade name. I picked up the cream bronzer in sand. Great little mirror here. There's the cream bronzer. I picked up two of the cream blushes, which I love the size of the packaging. How cute. And it's just a little bit of a lighter gray. 
so sweet. I have the shade Rose here, and this is the shade Citrine. Citrine is like a really deep, like bronzed terracotta. Like this is like a true terracotta color. And then Rose is that beautiful, beautiful light, fresh pinky look. And then they also have the gloss highlighter. This is Topaz. Again, the packaging is very plain. I love it. It's very simple, minimalistic, but this is all that's on it. There's nothing on the back. There's nothing that indicates what it is or the shades. And I had that same problem with the brow products. They don't have the shade names on them. It's just a plain tube. So when I picked it up, I'd always have to open it and see which shade it was because I had bought a lighter one and a deeper one. And I'm like, that's kind of annoying. I think that the shade info should be on there. However, I do appreciate the minimalistic look of this. That is the highlighter here. Very intense. Oh, it always focuses on my eyes, sorry. It's very intense, but you can really sheer it out to this lovely, lovely little lip from within. It's got that warm glow to it. Very nice. You know what? While I have that actually just blend it out, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones. We already have such an intense glow, so I actually feel like this highlight in particular is just gonna add more warmth than anything, which I am so okay with. No chunky bits in sight, no complaints there. Beautiful, beautiful color. Look at that, That that's intense, that's nice. Oh my God, okay, let's try the cream bronzer. I'm gonna take my Smith 157 brush, naturally. I've been using the NARS Casino a lot lately, so I just wanted to see how the shades compared, but yeah, NARS Casino is way darker. Obviously, I don't have Laguna to compare it to, but it's a lot lighter, so let's see how she applies. Oh yeah, it's much, much more on the warmer side of life. Feeling like a similar experience to my Persona Cosmetics cream bronzer that I tried, where it's just that lighter, like true bronzer. This doesn't really have any kind of cool tones to it. It's just like, this is warmth, which is nice. I often prefer the more cool tones, like even casinos, like still a little bit on the cooler side. So. I feel like it really acts nicely as a as a contour as well, whereas this one's just, it's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be a gorgeous warm glow, but it's not doing any like additional chiseling, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but very creamy, very easy to blend, like zero, zero complaints. There's been so many great products coming out lately, guys. I always use the word overwhelming and I've been saying it for years, but truly like there's, there's been so many launches and it's getting to the point, like I was talking about already earlier, where it's hard to find a bad launch. The launches are all pretty great. Like I haven't had a hard time with too many things. It's, it's a little bit more rare for the product to be bad. So I think it just depends on who you follow, who you support. If someone you follow and love comes out with a brand and you wanna support that brand, then that's so great. Like I love Jess Hunt, like whatever she brings out, I'm gonna try out of curiosity. Like Jamie Genevieve, same thing. Lisa Eldridge, like Katie Jane Hans. The people who I look up to and admire and consider mentors in the online space, <laughs> I will try anything. I will try anything that they tell me. So it totally just depends on what you deem to be worthy of your spending. And that's it. I think it's nice that you get to have a second opinion here. You know, if a product is bad, then it's like, okay, hey, thanks for the heads up. I shall save my dollars. But the makeup world is getting advanced. They're getting good. Like the formulas are delicious. <laughs> I have no other word to describe that, but it's just like creamy, delicious goodness. No complaints here, guys. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? And what you're seeing so far. I kind of, I wanna do the pink because I have a feeling I'm gonna use a more of a pink lip later on but citrine, actually, here. Let me swatch it next to Picante. <laughs> if you weren't aware, Picante is my blush shade with nude sticks that I recently launched and it's very, very creamy, also very juicy and summer appropriate and very exciting. And it's also a very vibrant, bright, true orange. So here's nude sticks Picante and here's the Refi Beauty Citrine. Just that deeper, more burnt terracotta orange. This is like Picante and a bronzer mixed together, you know? Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's play with Rose. I wanna use this lovely fresh pink and see how it looks. I feel like it'll go really nicely, kind of like a watermelon feeling with the shirt I'm wearing today, which is from Beginning Boutique, by the way. It is a little bit older. I did get this package some time ago. I was kind of just waiting for like pure summer tan and warmth to appear for me to wear it, but if it is available, I will absolutely link it below for you guys. This is like such a wet, beautiful formula. Honestly, it's such a dream to blend out. It's so easy. Love this shade. Very, very light, fresh, lovely. 
pink. Truly a rose petal pink. It's very nice. I've been going a little bit, a little bit overboard as per usual with my blush. So whenever I do this, I love to take either a brush, whatever I'm using, a brush or a sponge, and I just go over it after and kind of melt the line that separates my under eye and the blush. And I feel like it just helps it go together a little bit more. I love the Katie Jane Hughes technique of just going back in with a brush after and touching up with concealer if you need to, but I am liking what I'm seeing, my friends. This is this is some glowy makeup. I'm a, I'm a fan. Um, I'm gonna take some Charlotte Tilbury airbrush gloss filter and give it a little dusting here. We are very exceptionally glowy today. <laughs> So I want to make sure I'm powdering where I need to. I'm going to dip into Hoola Glow. Technically, I've already talked about this, but this is a new product that I have just been loving. It is such a gorgeous addition to the Benefit Cheek Bronzer lineup. And I have been wearing this on my face regardless, but putting it in my eyes too. Like I love Hoola Bronzer regular in my eyes. And then having Glow is like next level magic. It is gorgeous for an everyday summer look. Like yes, yes, yes get all over my face, all over my body, and also all over my eyelids. <laughs> I'll just dust a little bit of that on my nose too. The Refi one, I, I'll be honest, like it, it is a much lighter bronzer as you guys saw than what I've been using lately. So I do feel like I'm a little bit less bronzed right now. Like I could have got a deeper shade in that for sure. So I'm just gonna go over and do a nice little dusting of Hoola Glow. Cause even Hoola in general is a little bit more on the ashy, side a little bit more on the cool side and even right there i just feel like i'm extra bronzed immediately so that refi shade for me just in terms of what i usually use is a little bit lighter so i'm just gonna add an extra layer of this glow version to add an extra glowy bronze everywhere i think that's lovely keeping it very simple on the eyes today i really want to give focus to the glow and focus on the lips so i'm going to be using this lovely new mascara combo the most recent discovery this is the pat mcgrath dark star mascara absolutely blew me away i have been loving it since i filmed the full face video and also the annabelle skinny mascara on the bottom such a gorgeous combination you guys if you haven't tried this mascara i know it is on the more high end of the mascara but listen nothing can top tom ford badass black okay it's only lower prices from there so i was so excited to have tried this mascara and it was just like wow gorgeous look at look at this mascara it's crazy it's so good and the Annabelle Skinny Mascara. It's magic, it's magic on the lower lashes. This combo. So moving on to lips, I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. I have been using this a lot lately. It's a perfect shade for my lips. Okay, so let's talk about the new shades from Lise Watier. These are the Rouge Intense Supreme. Like I mentioned, I have four of the new shades here and the Rouge Fondant lipsticks are the ones that I have used the longest from Lise Watier. I used to love the shade Jennifer, which was a really nice light, like sandy nude shade. And then Michelle, which is like, I actually it's described as a deep mauve. And it was this like gorgeous deep purple and I have so, many videos on my YouTube channel, like literally from 2015 of me rocking that lipstick. I loved it so much. I've since moved on from the more like mauve purpley tones I dibble here and again, but the shades that I have in it now are Alanis and Sarah. And Alanis is like very, very much a dreamy, like lighter pinky beige nude, absolutely gorgeous. And the Rouge Fondant Supreme lipsticks are just like, look at how juicy, juicy that is. Let me just, let me just put it on for you. This, this formula has been a favorite. I've had a lot of like shade rotation. Like that is literally six years that I was using that. I had decluttered my older ones at one point and was just kind of into like more different shades, but such a beautiful formula. It's been such a favorite. So that's Alanis. And then last year in 2020, they came out with the Rouge Velours Matte Supreme. Sorry, I really wanted to get that right. And they're these really long skinny sticks. And I like, I had so many shades that were so perfect for the holidays, like leading up to Christmas in 2020, I was wearing these so 
much. There were so many beautiful shades in them. I love the packaging. It's a beautiful matte formula. And then the Rouge Intense Supreme are just as juicy and delicious as the Rouge Fondant ones, but just a little bit more packing on with the pigment there. So let me swatch you the new shades that I have. So here are four of the new shades of the Lee Swatier Rouge Intense Supreme. <gasps> now I don't know what shade to do. I was going to do like a bold lip, but I kind of... I feel like it just goes so perfectly with the blush. Like that is such a gorgeous, soft, soft light pink. And the formula, it's so creamy. Honestly, guys, like you can't beat the creaminess of Elise Watier lipstick, truly. This is rosy. I feel like I should just leave it here and leave it nice and fresh and going with the blush. It's an excellent combo. What do you guys think of the new shades? Have you tried Elise Watier lipstick? Have you had the pleasure and joy of trying? Elise Watier lipstick. Let me know in the comments down below. All of my favorites here, my favorite formulas from Elise Watier, I will absolutely link in the description box down below. I'll write out a few of my favorite shades and then where you can shop them, guys. So thank you so much to Elise Watier for these fabulous new lipsticks. And that's also it for this look. Whoa. I cannot believe the base. I can believe it. I can believe it, but I'm very, very happy to have discovered some of these gorgeous new products. What do you guys think? Lots of new makeup to come in some of my upcoming videos over the next couple weeks. I hope you guys are excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look and I'll see you all very soon for a new one. Bye.